Hi, I'm Tom Duckworth. I'm one of the directors at Duckworth Overland. We're building the Airlander, which is an aircraft-inspired off-road camper van on the back of a Land Rover Defender. What's up everyone? My name's Phil with the Down and Mob Overland channel and I love sharing my overland adventures and vehicle builds with you but I also love sharing other people's awesome builds. I'm so excited that the Jeep Gladiator build is in full effect. We just got the aluminum camper frame wrapped up. Today we're shifting gears. We're heading to the UK to check out this Airlander. The aircraft inspired aluminium habitation pod is going to be made up of double curved panels made on an English wheel and solid riveted together. The galvanized chassis is going to be a 130 Defender with a TD5 engine in it. I like the Airlander design because it combines the sweeping curves of old vehicles with the rugged 4x4 capability of the Land Rover Defender. Whoa. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Um, I saw in the footage you sent, you're doing a lot of extensive work on the motor and really it looks like a full motor rebuild, um, which is a lot more in depth than a lot of Overland vehicles go from really a ground up build, not just including the camper. So I thought that was pretty cool. But this is nothing new to you as you built the Lori Life, that off-road tiny home. So tell us a little bit about that and how you got into overlanding. I first started getting into overlanding when I was looking at building my own house on wheels. Uh, I picked the vehicle of a Bedford MJ, which is a ex-military 4x4, 9.5 ton truck. Uh, I built my small tiny house on it, uh, it took me about a year. And after that I found the overland community and I was going to loads of shows and talking to loads of really interesting people and that got me more and more excited about overlanding. Actually that's how I first saw you on Instagram. I started following years ago and I just thought that build has so much character and it's just so unique. All right so I can definitely relate with you here. You had this amazing home on wheels and this vision for a better one pursue this this new vision a lot like I did with selling the Dodge Mahal and going to the Mabacon now. So I can definitely relate with you on that, but I still have to ask, what's your motivation for this new project? I was inspired to build the Airlander by my love of old vehicles, camper vans, and Land Rovers. My business partner and I, Mike, first started talking about the Airlander in 2019. Through the summer of 2020, the idea began to get bigger and bigger, and by the autumn of 2020, we had premises a donor vehicle and it started work on dismantling it. The overlanding scene in the UK is quite good. Most local to us is Salisbury Plain where we took the Land River for a good play before we started dismantling it. There's loads of other good places in the UK as well and we are incredibly close to Europe and there's some fantastic routes across the Pyrenees such as the Smuggler Trails and loads of other great places really close as well. There's loads of really great shows in the UK as well, like the Adventure Overlander show, which I've taken my truck house to a couple of times, and we're really hoping to take the Airlander to it as well. Well, like I said, it's really cool to see someone going so far in depth and also doing something so different. All the work that you guys are putting into this wood frame, um, just to make sure that you build the aluminum frame on top, absolutely perfect. It's pretty impressive, the process that you're going through. Freaking plane. I'm shooting a video, man. It was nice sound, so I didn't put the mic on. Because you can hear the birds chirping. But then there's you with your plane. Hey, I guess it's fitting. It's a video about an airlander, and we've got an aircraft flying by. <laughs> Getting in the audio. <laughs> I couldn't have played it better. <laughs> All right, back to the video. So, Tom, what's next for Duckworth Overland? We are planning a few other projects as well. Uh, one of them that we've talked about is the Bohanka, which is a uh, Russian-built small van, not dissimilar to a VW Synchro. 
and we're hoping to modify that pretty substantially but only keep the aesthetics and there's a few other things that we've talked about as well potentially larger builds but we are focusing at the moment on the airlander we are hoping to be able to export the airlander to the us and we want to do a large amount of our own individual overlanding around the us as well well, my friend, I can certainly show you around the United States and uh, we got to link up. It would be super cool to see this vehicle and be able to drive with the Mavicon and the Airlander. How cool would that be? Um, so, yeah, hopefully you make it over here sooner than later. So how can these people get a hold of you if they want to follow the build? And also, if you have any potential interested clients, um, I know the Airlander right now, they're still looking for a main buyer for the end of it to start doing, you know, custom tweaks for what the buyer wants. Uh, we are all over social media. You can find us at Duckworth Overland uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Uh, we are, also have a website, www.duckworthoverland.com. Well, comment, let me know what you guys think of this video. Thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel. And I asked Tom if he was down to mob, but I don't know if it quite translated. Um, a lot of you guys ask, what does down to mob mean? And really it means, are you down to go camping? Are you down to build a camper? Are you down to do whatever it is that's in your head as your big dream? Are you down to mob? We'll see you next time. Woo.